Hey guys, Mars Fremens here. I'm pretty sure you know the feeling when you think you have nailed at your latest project when you're playing for two hours with the lighting in post-processing, but somehow your project is missing that fine detail that you see in other artists' projects, you know? It just And the truth is, everyone, even the people who say they don't, everybody export their Unreal Engine footage outside Unreal Engine and fix it in the post. And it's nothing bad about it, you know? In real life, we use raw and log footage to just turn your projects from great to epic. And then why you wouldn't do the same thing in Unreal Engine? So today I'm gonna show you how you can export your project in a log format and turn your still or the short from the great to epic. So before we start, as always, if you're gonna like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump into it. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5, but the same workflow applies to the Unreal Engine 4. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the render queue plugin is enabled. So we're gonna go to the plugin section and let's write render queue. Just make sure that it's enabled. If it's not, then just tick it in, restart engine and get back to the project. Next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create new animation sequence. So let's go to animation and level sequence. Just name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine in tutorial. Let's open it up. Next thing we're gonna need is a camera. Use an existing camera or just create a new one. There are two ways how you can create a new camera. Either you use placed actors and write camera and use cinematic camera, or you can go up here, create cinematics and use cinematic camera actor. Either way is fine, the same camera. Once you're done with your epic angle, make sure that camera cue is here. Then we're gonna go to the windows, cinematics, and choose movie render queue. Now we're gonna need to press render and find the sequence that you just made. I'm gonna write tutorial, bam. Now we're just gonna edit a few settings. The first setting we're gonna do is we're gonna change the export format from JPEG to EXR. EXR basically is like raw format for Unreal Engine. Uh, we can delete the JPEG. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select color output, gonna make sure that we are getting the widest dynamic range possible. So here it's really important to disable the town curve, otherwise you're not gonna get the widest dynamic range. So now we can go to the output. I'm just gonna increase the quality for the video times two, both of them. And now you just set up location where you wanna export your file and you press accept. I always choose to render remotely because in the case if you're, there is some kind of error and Unreal Engine could crash, it's not gonna at least crash your project, it's gonna just crash that other instance. So after that, we're gonna go to the folder where we just exported everything. It's gonna be multiple picture files. So open up one of them. So in this step, you're gonna need a Photoshop. By the default, it's gonna open the Photoshop. And if Photoshop is your preference software where you're editing, you know, images, then you can just edit it here. As myself, I'm more Lightroom guy, then I'm just gonna press file, save as. Something we're gonna do here is we need to change the format, save as type from EXR to TIFF. TIFF is gonna be that format that you're gonna be able to open in the Lightroom. Leave everything as it is and press OK. So now we can open up the Lightroom. And the Lightroom file is gonna be a bit overexposed, but that's okay. As it's a log footage, we have full control over it without losing any quality. So after we are done with editing, if you wanna turn this look in your short, then we need to make something called LOT. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm just gonna show you how you can do it. First, we need to download the software that can create a file for the Lightroom that we later on gonna to use to create a cube plot for the Premiere Pro. First, we're gonna click generate HALD. So we're gonna create this kind of image that we're gonna to need to import in Lightroom. So next thing is go to the image that you just edited. Holding shift, click on that and click on that, that HALD file that you just exported and press sync, then click okay and let's export it. Just export it as a JPEG, doesn't matter. So we are going back to that software and now we're gonna press convert to cube. Now we're gonna need to select that file, open it up, and it's automatically gonna convert to the lot that you can use in any video editing software. So for example, we're gonna go into Premiere Pro, we're just gonna select lot, select the cube file, 
right here. Press open and bam. <laughs> And that's it for today, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe me if you are not doing it already and guys I'm gonna see you in the next one.